What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Craftosaurus and today I am very, very excited in order to show you the long awaited 3 carnivores which sadly I didn't get the chance to show you yesterday because unfortunately I had to like go out there, well go onto the expedition maps in order to dug up the uh uh, fossil that I need to extract the uh, dinosaur DNA for these three magnificent carnivores so I apologize I didn't have the time to do it in the last video but today I am more than happy in order to show it to you myself because because we are gonna have our very first look at the three brand new carnivores from a week ago <laughs> oh and I couldn't, couldn't be more happier than before. Well, as you can see, I know it's just not um, much to go around on this map, but uh, I just thought it would be nice just to check it out for ourselves and see what would really happen, just to see what these three carnivores look like. So, over here, we're going to try to start with the Herrerasaurus, just to take a look. Look at what they look like, and then we'll move on to Agrocanthosaurus, and then the Ceratosaurus. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but you know, I kind of imagine the Proceratosaurus to be a lot more different. Well, I like the one from JW the game, <laughs> well, which is the mobile app, but eh, I don't know, they're trying to stick it to canon and I uh, hey, I guess it wouldn't hurt just to uh, make things up a bit so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's check out wait for the Herrerasaurus Ooh. wow very very nice ooh man I, oh, oh shoot! Oops! Hold on! Ah oh, shoot! Um, hold on! <laughs> I must have forgot to do something. Uh, oh dear. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I swear I keep on forgetting to <laughs> press. <up. laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, wow! Look at this magnificent animal. <gasps> Oh, wait, I gotta go to capture mode for this. Ooh, I got... Oh, whoop. Ah. Right, stupid. Oh, whoops. Must have pressed and zoom by accident. Oh. oh, man. Wow. I cannot be a lot more happier of what I am seeing right now. Oh, we gotta see this under the slow oh, motion, guys. Oh. Uh, I'm just a little girl just having a good time in my life. I just hope that nothing bad happens to me. Hmm. It's not like a dangerous prehistoric creature is gonna sneak up right behind me and try to eat me and then I wait. There's something right behind me, isn't there? What? Uh oh. Oh no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, man, that is incredible! <laughs> now, that's what I call a sneak attack from our friendly Herrerasaurus. <laughs> or, not so friendly. <laughs> Still, that was pretty awesome! Alright, uh, let's see if we can try to put this to normal speed. And, oops! Ah, sure. Oh, man. Man, I cannot be a lot more happier in order to see this magnificent carnivore with my very own eyes. Oh, watch it! And there's gonna be like a... Oh, did you see that? <laughs> oh, that's actually one of its brand new feeding animations that no carnivore actually has. <laughs> However, we're not just gonna be looking at one Herrera source. We're gonna be looking at another. But this time, under a different skin pattern. Hmm. Um. Okay. 
Hmm. Well, um, okay, well, no, usually I prefer more colorful patterns, but, uh, I guess the skin pattern on this one, well, um, it kind of looks like a bit of a doll-like feature, and, oh, ooh, here we go, kill number two, and, oh, wow, <laughs> that poor, poor goat, oh, man, man, these, oh, man, I just love it when it did that, when it was digging for the meat, and then it just got through into the ground, and then the whole rest of it says, here we go, oh, no, that's what I call it, a quick snap. Oh man, it is just too awesome. But yeah, like I said, the pattern on this one could have been a little better, and I think that was actually the Alpine pattern. So, oh, um, okay, okay, looks like the yeah, I think this is the jungle pattern, I believe. Ah, oh, this is woodland. Ah, okay, so. Ah, the woodland pattern this one actually looks very nice. Hmm. Yeah, yeah it really does look like these, these guys actually have the same patterns, but in different colors. Yeah. No, oh, I gotta admit, Frontier, you have done it again. Yeah, I can tell they really do focus on the detail of, of the skin patterns. There's even the colors just to make sure of, well, what colors that you go together with. And then I think that this one is actually you know, really cool. Okay, and now, oh, forever source number four. Hmm. Oh. Well, you know, I actually really do like, like its uh, animation when it comes right out of the hatchery or the lab. Oh, okay, so, I, is this one, oh, wait, that's definitely pattern? Hmm, okay, I kind of imagined it was gonna be, like, somewhat brown-ish like this one, because the way how you see the, uh, patterns, there's look on the other animals, well, or on the icon itself. You kind of think it would look like it's uh, gonna be a different pattern, but however though, oh, until you get like a bit surprise, it's totally different. Oh man, these creatures, I have to say. Eh, the all point one, I think it could have gone a little better, but I don't mean to be the bad guy, but um, oh, and I want to see if I can try to like uh, uh, uh well it can be the one with the coastal pattern gene and see what it looks like so we'll probably get to that layer and now let's check out the arid pattern oh um okay hey uh, okay maybe this one's not too bad Depending on how the, the, the speckled pattern looks, look as if like uh, like I don't know if you got splattered by great pain, but even though you're mostly brown on the inside, but uh, um, I guess the every patterns I think it's kind of an okay one, but you know I think I kind of like this one a little more better. I mean like. Sure, it does not look like the Horrevasaurus from Jurassic Park the game, <laughs> but uh, yeah, at least it does look really nice though, so if that's the same, I think this one actually takes home the grand prize. <laughs> but even though the default skin is actually not too bad as well, so mm, yeah, I guess the woodland and the default pattern actually takes the cake. Yeah, and, and, oh wait, you know, it would be so cool just, oh, you know what, let's see if we can take a look at this on the capture mode, let's see what it does look like, hmm, letter box, uh, hmm, I don't know, do you guys think it looks nice under, er, uh, 
two out of one or two point three nine out of one. Hmm. What? Let's have a look. Ooh. Eh, okay. Man, it really does look like it. Definitely part of a movie scene. Oh, man. it's like watching a nature documentary. <laughs> As you can see here, you see three different colored herbivores trying to uh, search for prey. Even though they mostly hunt in small groups, the herbivores could be able to uh, smell their prey up to a mile away. <laughs> Eh, sorry I had to go there. But, anyways, they all look really nicely. And now, up to our next contender, we have a very large carnivore all the way from the late Cretaceous period. Ladies and gentlemen, Acrocanthosaurus! Whoa! Holy moly! Look at the size of this thing! <laughs> this has got to be at least a little more bigger than the Keratotosaurus! And I gotta admit, even the default skin pattern on this thing looks really nice. I mean, like, it actually catches my skin color very well. <laughs> yeah, it's got that perfect tan color look at even the yellow stripe coming from its skull to the end of its tail. Oh, you know, this one really does remind me a lot of the Ecarcanthosaurus from JPOG, even though it didn't have that little, uh, I don't know, spine feature on one side of its back, but hey, this has got to be at least the most well-detailed Ecarcanthosaurus I've ever seen. <sighs> at least now that all the large carnivores from JPOG have been finally added onto here. I don't know if the rest might be able to make it, but but I guess only time can tell. But anyway so the details on that one actually look pretty well. Okay, now let's check the next one in the Alpine pattern. Uh Um, uh, well, okay, I'm going to have to admit, though, it's kind of, hmm, well, it's got that, you know, stripe, but I guess it has more of a, a natural look when you think of it, like, like, it kind of almost looks like it features the same way as the other default skin pack, but you can tell, even though, the default one looks a lot more brighter, but however, for this one though, no, well, it really does look a lot. Hmm, well, not exactly too bad, but it's kind of actually more like the a regular feature, like what we see out of a real animal. That's just how the way that man, I could possibly see it. But, I guess I'll probably get this skin tone, like, at least, uh, possibly a 7 out of a 10, because with this more natural look, and it's, <gasps> oh, oh, it's gonna hunt, oh, I gotta see this on the capture mode, uh, oh man, I'm just having too much fun with this, uh, feature, so, if we could, ooh, let's check this out in slow motion, like, uh-oh, is it gonna run away? Uh-oh. Aw, oh, man, the goat got away. Oh. Hmm. Alright, where'd you go? Uh -huh. Come on, you. Try to say where you are. Or let the Acrocathosaurus do the work. Right? Okay. Right. Oh, is this one gonna hunt? No? Yeah. Okay, it looks like these... Guys are not gonna... Hmm, well, okay, so while they're hunting, let's take a look at the next skin variant, shall we? Whoa! Holy cow! <laughs> like, 
Wow! Look at the colors on this one! A perfect blend between the orange and blue? Uh, what was... Oh, this is the jungle pattern! Wow, holy cow, this is gonna be the most brightest skin pattern I have ever seen! <laughs> oh man, I don't know if I'm falling in love with the skin or... It's just to... Man, this is actually quite a... <gasps> Ooh, here we go! Uh, hold on. Oh, here we go. Now she's gonna make a move. Oh, here we go. Let's take a look at slow motion. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can try it downwards. And... Here we go! Hum! Ah! Oh, okay, kind of looked like she missed the go, but... Oh. Oh, wow. Incredible. <laughs> ah, nice. Mmm, now that's why I call it a delicious snack. <laughs> oh, oh my god. But still, though, I can't get enough of this skin pattern. It's like the most colorful dinosaur I have ever seen before. Oh man, I can tell you, that one probably could really stand out above the rest. Now, on to the next skin! Okay, so a little too dark to see from this angle, but... Oh! Um, okay, so... Ah, that's a step pattern. Hmm. Wow. You know... With this pattern, it kind of reminds me of a lot of the Karkara Rock the Dot source from JPOG. I mean, like, think of it, you could tell it looks a lot similar. I mean, like, it's got that, uh, well, I don't know, bright orange stripe with the, the darker skin tone. But yeah, it really does look like the Karkara Rock the Dot source from, from JPOG. It looks just like it. Well, even though it's still Aquacapasaurus, but hey, <laughs> who's to argue? <laughs> yeah, okay, this one actually looks, yeah, it actually looks really good. Okay, so, so far, out of the, out of the ones I, okay, I guess I could probably declare this one as a more of a natural look, and <laughs> this one, well, the brightest look. Look at the darker look, and, well, the regular look. <laughs> yeah, if you can really look at these two side by side, they kind of really remind me of the uh, two different large car forces, JPOG. Uh, man, this got pure nostalgia all over it. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Let's take a look at the last one and see what the skin on this one looks like. Whoa! Wow! Okay. Um. Wow! Man. You know what? I'm. Wait. Ah, okay. This is wetland. <laughs> oh. You know, I'm gonna be straight with you guys, but I feel like I might have seen this particular skin pattern from somewhere before. Probably like from a large convoy, but not from this game though, but probably in like on a television series I used to watch or maybe from a book I used to read or I don't know, but yeah, this particular skin pattern, I feel like I've seen this one somewhere before and my word, it looks pretty darn amazing. Oh, this is actually boy, very, very awesome. Oh, I don't know what to tell you. But, oh? Two Aquacanthosaurus Alpha? Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's something I don't see every day. I... Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I kind of do need to, like, uh, work on the... Let's see, modifying genome. Aha! And we need to check out the, the vivid skin pattern in layer. So, 
Yeah. Uh, you know, I gotta say, all the skins on the Akatathosaurus, well, they look really amazing. Well, yeah, I mean, like, even the people skin on this one, man, it really does look like it really stands out to the rest. I mean, like, it reminds me a lot of the Akatathosaurus. Source from its predecessor and this one however oh this has got like I said nostalgia all over it because it does really look like a Cacaranthathon source from JBOG if you think about it but the jungle powder one though oh yeah I'm glad this one is the alpha of, well or one of the alphas of this group then yeah a really truly magnificent pattern on this one. Oh, I am just so in love with it. All right, so yeah, these guys looked really, really amazing. Now, uh, okay, so without further ado, let's check out the Prosaurus. Huh? Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I'm not too shocked about the, uh, uh, well, skin, but I'm actually kind of a little surprised that it's got, like, a, a similar animation to the Trododon. Yeah, I mean, like, if you kind of look at it, it not only almost looks like one, but it kind of looks like it has a similar animation to it as well. I mean, like, it says because it's, it's is small and slender. It really does. Yeah. I mean, like, look at it. You could definitely tell by the way how it runs. And, oh, looks like it's on the hunt. Oh, man. Let's take a look. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's check this out in slow motion. Oh. <clears throat> Never time. Uh. <clears throat> As we have a look right here, the Prosoletosaurus is about to uh, uh, make an ambush onto its prey. And, whoa! Ooh, man, look at that chart, and boing! And boom! Right onto its prey! Oh, wow, man! Yeah, you can definitely tell it has a, a similar animation to the Chorodon. Or the true dawn? <laughs> well, I'm not too sure, but yeah, it that was actually really awesome. But however, though, you know, it's, uh, it uh, kind of looks like a skinny slender carnivore. But hey, at least the crest of I mean, on top of its snout it really does display like a cool-looking feature to this dinosaur. But hey. That was actually a pretty cool capture, if you ask me. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the other skin. So, we got the Alpine pattern on this one. And let's have a look and see what... Oh! Um... Uh... Okay, well... Hmm. Well... I'm not gonna lie, guys, but this pattern on, on this creature, mm, I don't know, it, it kind of looks like it's, it has a bit of a boring look to it. Like I said, I did not want to be the bad guy, but I feel like I've, I've seen a little better. Well, even though the crest above it, it, you know, it does look like it has a nice touch to it, but However, since it's kind of like an all white white look with just a black stripe and streaking across his body. But, uh, I don't know, it's kind of thinking more like the. More like a. How should I say? A better natural look to it. I mean, like, think of it. Even the alpine look on the Aquacapa Source looks a lot more barren. Oh, here we go! Heel number two is on its way. And... Boing! <laughs> Get out of the way, you little goat. Hmm. 
But, uh, yeah, like I said, though, the power of this one, mm, well, I feel like I kind of seem a little better. Okay, so, on to the next one. The jungle pattern. You know, please tell me it looks awesome as... Whoa! Huh? Okay. Wow. Looks like a jungle pattern. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! It disappeared! Oh wait! Whoa! Uh... Okay... <laughs> well, that was a little weird. I don't know why the camera glitched out like that. Mm hmm Okay. Wow! Man, look at the bright colors on this one! Wow, it's got that reddish-orange look with the... With the, uh, a jungle green light pattern. And running along its body and a yellow crest in order to like as a finishing touch wow yeah this is actually quite a really cool looking skin man yeah can you imagine if the proceratosaurs in the real world really did look like this it would really be awesome oh, and it looks like the uh Cacanthosaurus itself looks like it's Ready to go and oh, ah, you know what? Just to get out of the way, I guess I'll just uh, you can be in the oh, oops, <laughs> uh, almost forgot one thing. Uh, right. Yeah, we gotta check out the vivid patterns on these these dinosaurs before I end the video. So let's check out this one. Ooh. Um, oh, sure, then. Um, okay. Wow. What the heck is this one? Ah, this is a step pattern. Okay, well. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah, look at the, the color on this one. It really does make it look like, like it's a dinosaur that's been recently come from hell. <laughs> More like of a, a hell dino. <laughs> yeah. You no. Know, for the record, I do you know what this skin pattern actually reminds me of? It reminds me of one of those monsters from the game Monster Hunter World called the Odogaron. And like this creature really does have like a very similar uh, pattern to the Odogaron from Monster Hunter World. Well, I wish you could display you a picture of it, but the uh, truth is, I don't know how. But, hey, if you think I'm not, not telling the truth, then, well, have a look and see it for yourself. <laughs> oh, oh, and look at the color Oh, hold on. Uh, I gotta take a, uh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I swear. Oh, man, I take a look at the crest on... Mm -hmm. On the Proceratus source, I mean, like, look how it's well blended. And, like, you could tell there's a bit of orange on the top, purple in the middle, and a tiny bit dash of blue at the bottom. I mean, like, it looks so amazing. Like it, like it displays its color, like as it is, a, like if it's uh, a male dinosaur, even though it's a girl, but. <laughs> Yeah, if this thing really is a male, or was a male, then yeah, it's crest would definitely look something like that. Yeah, so far that's gotta be the most colorful little dinosaur. Or, I don't know, I don't like the most colorful, but I don't know, if the jungle one looks a little more better, but anyways, let's move on to the next. Oh. Um, oh, okay. Hmm. Um, yeah, so this one is the arid pattern. Okay, you get some white on the bottom, mostly of a, um, not only color to make up this one, but kind of looks like of a, a goldish yellow. And just like with the previous Prosperous Swords, it's got that colorful crest as well. Hmm. But, I don't know, I, I think 
still looks nice. Nice, but... However, though, I was kind of expecting something a little bit more out of it, like... Uh, something like this. And, like, the colors on this one are truly outstanding. It's got that, you know, crest, like, a for efficient touch. The colors on this one, oh, man. It really does look like the, the devil's pet, and... Well, but this one, yeah, it's kind of like, has the same exact, uh, well, the same exact crest pattern like on the last one, but it's funny though, I was kind of expecting a little bit more out of this one. But, anyways, no, I've actually heard that each of these dinosaurs have their kind of unique killing animations but I, but you no know, I heard for the acrocanthosaurus however very this guy's only killing oh you know what let's have a look um, um okay it didn't display that killing animation that well I kind of heard about but but I think it only works with the park guests, or, well, I'm not too sure. Or, but anyways, not only these dinosaurs look really incredible. I mean, I mean like, look at this Acrocanthosaurus though. You, you can really tell, it looks like it has a lot more of a muscle look than any other carnivore do ever exist. I mean, like, for Allosaurus, it kind of, Looks like it really does have that flexible like body. The Carcanodontosaurus. I guess it's kind of like the same way, but for this particular creature though, it really does look like it's definitely built in order to take on any battle. Oh, and you know what? Speaking of which, let's take a look at the their final color patterns. Or Okay, and now, the coastal pattern on Horemosaurus. Hmm. Uh. Okay, and... Oh, it's... It's all black. Huh. Or, well, mostly black. Hmm. Um... Well, hmm, no, I'm not too sh sure about you guys, but uh, maybe these uh, particular. Uh, hmm, well, I guess this one's not too bad, I guess, but. <laughs> see the dinosaur that happens to be, well, mostly black, but. Yeah, it's actually still a good looking pattern. So I think. Hmm. Even though the woodland one still looks like it's still still stands out, out, out like with the uh, with the default skin itself, but I guess I'll give this one as a a six out of ten you know, or something. Hmm. At uh, hmm, you know what? Now I'm a little curious though, and see how these creatures actually hunt. Ooh, let's see if we can bring out like, like, uh, an herbivore to some of these carnivores and see how they, they kill. And now, let's take a look at the vivid pattern on the Acrocanthosaurus. Oh! Ooh, okay. Man, not bad. Well, okay. Wow, it kind of looks like it has that, uh, like a, a blueberry, like pattern, and you know, to this particular dinosaur. No, it's really called the <laughs> vivid pattern, but yeah, it kind of like has that blueberry muffin design, even on this very particular dinosaur because it's got that. Uh, a bluish platter, 
pattern right on the top and more of a, a page image or skill like look on to the bottom. So yeah. Yeah, this one's actually it's actually really nice looking. Hey, if you hey if there ain't you out there are really a big fan of blueberry muffins, then this is the perfect item source good color for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it really looks nice. No, come to think of it, I feel like I'm in the move for a muffin right now. <laughs> Alright, now let's take a look at the vivid pattern on the Prosaurus. See how it looks. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well. Well, huh, okay. <laughs> the camera kind of glitched out again, but uh, hmm. Well, okay. I, I guess this is yet another couple. Ooh. Huh. Wait a minute. It kind of looks like there's something up with this eye, or. Or am I just being crazy? Or. Huh. Well, okay. I guess this is a. Uh, a nice looking skin or so I think <laughs> but I don't know if you guys think think this particular skin color on this group so that so it feels like it needs more work or it looks really cool then let me know in the comment section below and see see if you can tell me how how the skin patterns on all these dinosaurs look very well and oh no oh help oh dear <laughs> of course, the one with the step pattern looks very hungry. Um, yep, eh, might as well. Wait, I was right. Oh, all right. So now let's see how how these carnivores actually hunt. Now, oh, you know what? I should probably really turn off the. Uh, Feeders, just to be sure, because I want to see how these carnivores there's hunt for the herbivores. Oh, it looks like these herbivores are really on the hunt. Oh man, did you guys see how those herbivores went right after the Myasaurus? Man, it looks like they were really interested. Oh man, hmm. Now, I don't know if they really do have like a particular way of knowing how to hunt these guys or but I may have a strong feeling these guys may have a, a bit of a far different killing animation than any other carnivore I ever witnessed. Hmm. Oh! Here we go! Oh! Wow! <laughs> I can't believe I just caught that! <laughs> wow! Man! Well, just like a raptor, it actually jumped on the sword. Well, jumped on the hydrosaur and then took it down with brute force on its neck. <laughs> oh, wow! That was incredible! Oh, man, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, ooh, let's try sending out a uh, Parasaurolophus to the Aquacatosaurus enclosure and see what it does. Oh, and maybe he in the Allura Titan to the the Parasaurus one. And don't ask me why I even doing it with different species, but mm, it's just uh. It's just a feeling. Alright. If you want a dead dead Myasaurus, well, you got one. Okay, guys. Well, looks like we're about to release your Laura Titan. Hmm. No, I always keep on forgetting how beautiful it really looks. <laughs> Funny. Oh yeah, that's right, because I added different 
This game kind of under this creature. Alright, so since these pro survivors have a similar hunting technique to the. Oh! Oh! Well, you better run away, big fella! <laughs> or. Right? Hmm. Oh, wait! Ah, oh, man! I got see this under slow motion. Oh, whoa! Man, I think I even just caught it as well. Oh man, come on. Yeah, okay, let's just. Yeah, I know. I, I just got get <laughs> very used to these controls. Oh man. Oh, looks like that one's ready to pounce and that one's ready to run. So, let's take a look at slow motion. Oh, wow. Boom. Oh. Now, strangle the life out of that dinosaur! Right? Right? Oh! Oh! Huh. Okay. <laughs> now, there is something I'll see every day. Hmm. Wow. Huh. Okay. Well, thank God I even just caught that as well. Man, I didn't think that we we're gonna really hunt it down, down that quickly, but uh, yeah, that was actually pretty cool. Well, since the Prostomatosaurus are definitely not toxic, which apparently that's how. Hey, wait a minute, where's. <laughs> it's inside the Allure time. Mmm, yum, I love the taste of those insides. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Uh, okay, but yeah, the animation was pretty cool. Aw, what's the matter? You want to have your swords of your own? Well, wait, no longer because you got one. Uh, well, I know the Paris of is, is a really peaceful your sword, but we just gotta see how how the uh, the Captain Swords kill these. He's back up so you know the horse. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait. Oh! And here we go. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can try to capture it on capture mode to see what happens. Oh! 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 Here we go! Oh, don't give me. Oh man, they are really it. Wow, look at that. They immediately went right after. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, did it miss it? Or. Wow, they are really after the. Man, they are really after the Paris of Olympus. Yeah, since I turn off their feeder, which unfortunately there is no way in order to you know, eat, so... Oh! Oh, here we go! Oh! Is it gonna do it? Come on! Do it! Oh! Here we go! Oh! Oh! Oh, this is gonna do it! And lift it into the air, and boom! Wow! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. <laughs> man, that was actually really cool. Oh, man. I don't know about you guys, but all these carnivores all of their animations and well most other skins are very very well designed as well so i can be a lot more happier than what i am right now <laughs> man these carnivores are the next well big step to bringing jurassic world evolution to a better brighter future well you know I guess this will pretty much wraps up up the carnivore showcase video or what you guys want to call it 
But hopefully within the future we'll be able to check out the next major update which should be coming out in early summer and I just can't wait for it. So thank you so much for watching today's video ladies and gentlemen. If you really did enjoy what you saw then be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter and hit the little bell to get notified about my newest and latest videos and I'll be seeing all you lovely people within the next episode. Peace out.